Hey guys, my name is Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be cementing my rock structure ready to go into my brand new water box behind me. But before we get to all of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. As always, a massive thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters. Um, it means the absolute world, so thank you. All right, so if you missed the first video of this series, definitely go and watch it. I'll leave the link up above. Um, but I did a walkthrough at my favorite local fish shop, which is where I got this rock from. And you'll be able to see the awesome space that they have there that I was able to plan out my rock structure and the scape that I'm wanting to have for my tank. So definitely go and watch that video. One of the comments was that it's not a shop, it's a boutique. And I fully agree with that. It's a beautiful space. So definitely go and check out that video if you haven't already. Going back a step, I have popped my water box together. Um, for those of you who follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you would have seen. It was super easy to put together, which is awesome. Um, I was, wasn't sure what I was gonna be um, up for putting it together, but it was so easy and I reckon taking away the time that it took for me to find the right tools, I reckon it took about 45 minutes. So um, yeah, very, very happy with that. Yes, I have got the light on and there is nothing in the tank, but I'm one of those people that I kind of like to have it, you know, dream about what it's gonna look like at the end. And um, for me, I don't know, if anyone else is like that, let me know in the comments, um, or maybe I'm just crazy, but yeah, I like to kind of see what it's gonna look like in the end. So this is my first time ever cementing rocks. Um, in my previous tank, I've just sort of stacked it in a way that it was secure. Um, but with this, I'm wanting to have a bit of overhang, so I definitely want this cemented. Yeah, so I'm gonna be using the Emarco 400 bonding kit. Um, so yeah, I've never used this before, um, but I've heard it's meant to be really, really good. So we'll give it a go. All right, so let's take a look at what you get inside. Um, so you've got this little liquid here, little spatula, and this is obviously the powder that you will need. What I'm planning on doing is mixing it up in a small little bowl so I can keep this bucket nice, because um, otherwise it's gonna get all yucky and cementy in there. So what we're gonna be doing first, it says to get 375 mils of water. So I'm using RIDI water um, for this. And we're gonna be adding that into the little pouch. Um, so we're just gonna pour that into there. Man, that's, that actually stinks. Right, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Pop the lid back on and give it a bit of a shake. All right, now I'm gonna pour little bits of this into my bowl. All right, so I'm gonna add some of the mixture. Just going to mix it in. I used way too much water there. Put some gloves on. Sort of just trying to work it into those spots to support those areas. Now that I've probably cemented it way more than I probably needed to, <laughs> I uh, will leave it for 24 hours and check back in tomorrow and see how it's held up. All right, so it's been a little over 24 hours now and it has set super well. So those little supports that I had in there, they're now gone. And yeah, I'm really, really liking it. A massive shout out to Anthony from Aquarium Gallery for helping me get this scape to look like this. Really happy with how it's come out. I really wanted the rock work to be right in the middle of the tank uh, so it's really easy to get all around and yeah just let these corals grow all off these sections so very excited but before we do that it's time to wash some sand i went with the aqua natural coarse aragonite i'm sure i'm saying that wrong uh sand yeah so i'm gonna go and give that a good wash now show you how i do that and then we're gonna pop it all into the tank. All right, so what we're gonna, I have no idea why I thought it would be a good idea to do this at night time. But anyway, here we are. 
So basically I'm going to be running this into the bucket and swishing it around until it comes out completely clear. So if you want the water to run completely clear um, and get any you know loose particles and all that sort of stuff out before adding it into your tank. Lol. Archie here is my water baby and this is Indy and of course he is going to get involved. All right, so this is what you want it to look like in the end uh, after all that. You want it to be super clear and not cloudy. Right, let's go put it all in the tank. So you always want to make sure that you put your rock work down first and then you sand afterwards. So if your rock moves for whatever reason down the track, it's not going to topple over um, because it's relying on that sand to be underneath it. blown away with how it's turned out it's exactly the way I wanted it so I really love how the cement has made it super easy to make that plating and that overhang sort of look possible um, it was super easy to use so I highly recommend it and honestly you can't even really see it that much on the finished product um, I know it's the Coraline algae color one um, but it's all gonna end up getting covered over anyway and I'm sure I've got my ugly stage to come as well. If I really wanted to, I could chop up extra little bits of Marco rock to stick on there uh, to sort of conceal it a little bit more, but honestly, I'm not too fussed and it'll probably get covered over and buried with coral one day anyway, so I'm not fussed at all. But don't forget, if you are new, to subscribe, to follow me along my journeys of my completely opposite tanks. <laughs> this one is going to be such an easy tank to keep and low maintenance, so I can't wait to share it with you all, and we will see you next time.